Good morning, everybody. It's 716, April 13th. Um, I started to load up a video with James in it, and I just lost it by accident, so I had to start another one. Um, anyhow, I'll see if I can get him to come by here to say hello. There he is. Here he comes. Come here. He's coming. I'll have him say hello to you guys real quick. Because, uh, you guys, listen. Let's, let's not be distracted by the things in this world. We know the time's very short. There he is. Hey, I lost that video I had you in, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, well. <laughs> Anyhow, this is James, you guys. You guys remember him last year when we were driving around? Last summer, yep. Yep. Team driving. But anyhow... Long, uh, long road trips. We were just talking about it over breakfast, about the things in this world that will distract you. And he was telling me about one of his biggest favorite distractors, which we won't say who that is. But, uh, Cracker Barrel, right? I'm just no, kidding. No, the person you were talking about. But anyhow, that was just one. Uh, the date setting, constantly setting these dates, you know, looking for an escape date. And they've been doing it over and over and over quite a bit. And um, that's not redeeming the time, nor is it strengthening the time. Um, not only that, only by the word of God, knowing um, who's really in control. Remember what Jesus told Pilate? You can't do nothing if it wasn't allowed by my Father, which is in heaven. You know, so that's where we need to be. We need to be in the Lord, you know, right, trusting in the Lord. the Lord. Something you have to maintain every day. Right. Consciously be thinking about um, what's in the Scripture, reading the Scripture, because every time we read the Scripture, we find a deeper meaning in the verses than we did the last time we read them. And it helps keep us focused. Um, the things that we need to be doing to follow Christ. Amen. Amen. That's what it's about, you guys. Staying close to our Lord Jesus Christ, okay? I, I told you guys once when I was doing a video, um, I just changed. I disappeared. I turned into an orb and flew off. So, in other words, it's going to happen when you least expect it. We know the season. We see the strong delusion. We've seen where the Pope is. He's either the he's either the beast or he's the false prophet. One of the two, but we know for certain. We've seen Obama and the Pope uh, do things that are just you know abominations to God. You know of causing this perversion to become what it is today in the nation. And now, the world's not paying any attention. Right, most people aren't paying attention to anything anymore. Um, and a lot of people are being distracted with constant date settings when we need to be strengthening ourselves in Christ because he's opened our eyes to see what's happening in this world today. And we can clearly see the perversion. We can see who's, who's brought it upon us. We can see the uh, delusions where people aren't seeing what's going on. Bible prophecy has been fulfilled over and over that includes where Jesus says, I come in my Father's name, and and you re receive me not. But there's one coming in his own name, him you will receive, which is the Pope. I've never heard anybody in my life ever come in their own name other than that. Um, that's why I say the Pope and Obama stand out big time. And we see the strong delusion. The mocking has increased. Scoffers and mockers, they've doubled. And the perversion has went to the roof. And that's where God said he's going to hand them over to uh, reprobated minds because they love not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But anyhow, with that, you guys, God bless you guys. I'll be talking to you in just a moment, okay? James, you want to say anything? Um, and just uh, to say that um, Mark's got about four hours drive left to uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Right now we're in... Withville, Virginia. It's where Interstate 77 and 81 
crisscross in southwestern Virginia yeah. in the Appalachian Mountains. I'll be heading to Knoxville, Tennessee in a little while. If there's any scoffers and markers out there, if you want to talk, I'll be happy to talk to you um, about your repentance, coming to the Lord Jesus Christ, man. Um, anybody, if you're living in a homosexual lifestyle, get out of it. Live in celibacy, man. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, of the world, cheating on your spouses, whatever, man. Get out of it. Um, addictions, drop them, quit, repent. That's what it's about, following Jesus Christ. Nothing is worth missing the rapture for. Yes, especially nothing in this world. This is the time to let it go, man. Actually, I'm going down there to uh, see Pastor Charles Lawson and because uh, he's preaching in the Word of God, and that's what I'm trying to tell everybody. That's the most important thing that you could be doing right now. back all right yeah i was doing a video you guys uh with him earlier and i accidentally lost it that's why i called him back over and he's on his way out of here now too but i'm gonna do this quick upload you guys can see that photo right there that's the picture i took in the sky you guys we need to be 100 percent all about jesus christ some of you guys may have real sharp eyes and you can see there's two faces in one where they're looking down on the earth right here. Looking down, looking down, one head's on top of the other. Then they both turn sideways at the same time. You can see it if you know what you're looking for. And then the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that comes from the Father and the Son, okay? As Jesus said, the Father and I are one, okay? All right, you guys, I want to read something to you. There he goes, James. Due to his horn. Now, I took this in, when I was 17 and 77. Um, this pitch is 40 years old. You guys, time's up here. Things are getting ready to change here. I mean, they're getting ready to change. We need to be following Christ, not what's in this world, man. Man, I lost it. Let me find it. But yeah, the mockers, scoffers, man, they're, sadly, they're underneath real strong delusion. They can't help but do what they're doing. What's really crazy is when you see all these people, the strong delusion that's going on. Yeah, very strong delusion. All right. Got to find the page here, you guys. I'm real close to it. There we go. All right. I'm going to read you guys something right here. Listen, man, we need to be reading scripture all the time. <laughs> um, for an appointed time. Listen to this. Habakkuk awaits the Lord's answer. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me, what I shall answer when I am reproved. The Lord's answer. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, what that he may run and readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. This is where we're at right now, you guys. Um, you know, things are going to start revealing themselves, and they already are. For some of us, it's really been revealing itself. But it's going to really, you guys, these... <laughs> it's going to be getting so obvious, even the blind are going to see it, you know? Those that don't want to see. This is a strong delusion going on here right now, you guys. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. 
Yeah, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and taunting proverb against him? and say, Woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his, how long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake, that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them? Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that covereth an evil covetedness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people has sinned against thy soul. For the stones shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Woe unto him that buildeth a town with blood, and establish a city by iniquity. Behold, is it not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity? For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of our of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that puttest thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken, also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee in the spoils of beasts, which made them afraid because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. What profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof has graven it? the molten image and the teacher of lies, that the maker of his work trusteth therein to make dumb idols. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, Awake, to the dumb stone, Arise, it shall teach, Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. But the Lord is his holy temple, let all the earth keep silence before him. You guys, our body, our body is the temple of the Lord. Okay? The Holy Spirit dwelleth in us too. The Holy Spirit. This is, uh, this is soon coming to an end here, you guys. We need to be, um, we need to be ready, you guys. I mean, be ready to get out of here. Philippines. Oh, man. Ephesians. Yeah, you guys, we need to be ready to get out of here. Be not deceived. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a fallen away first. We know this fallen way has already happened. We see the strong delusion too. But the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now litteth will lit until he be taken out of the way. It's like what's going on, you guys. We can't stop it. We can't. And they're not going to stop it either. So they literally have to be taken out of the way. Um, God removed himself from this nation. No man removed him. He removed himself because he's getting ready to do 
you know, what this says. And then shall that wicked be revealed. And the Lord shall consume with the spirit on his mouth. Have we not already seen who the wicked is? You know, we've it's all been revealed to us. That's why he's opened our eyes to see what we see. It hasn't been revealed to them. You know that verse where it says, Thank you, Father, for hiding these things from the wise and the prudent, but revealing them into babes? That's us right now. We, it's been revealed unto us. Therefore, we need to be steady, steadily following Christ. Um, be, be in Christ and Christ in us. You know, that's how we need to be living right now. Listen to this. Even him who's coming is after the work of Satan. Is after the work of Satan. This has already happened. Satan's already, he deceiveth the whole wide world. And who came up on the world stage now after all this deception? Obama and Pope, okay? I've, many of us have had dreams about Obama, seeing who he is. Another thing I want to share with you guys, listen. There's a lot of deception on YouTube, a lot of it, okay? I don't know any other way of saying it. We know the time is at hand. We know that. We also know the word of God says nobody's going to know that day or hour, okay? I'm not even going to try to sit there and say, I think I know when it is. I know it's at hand. I do. But I also know it's going to get worse. But uh, we need to be making sure that we're in Christ all the time. Don't worry about the time when you get out of here because that's coming. And we're not going to know it when it happens anyhow. You could be walking to your refrigerator. You could be walking. You could be taking a bath. You know, I seen in dreams where I was doing a video and I just changed and took off, changed into a spirit. Um, we're not going to know when this time happens. And the word of God says that, that we won't know when this time happens. So therefore, why are we letting people tell us dates all the time, trying to say it's going to be here, it's going to be there, it's going to be between this time right here. You know, over and over, for years, predicting the same thing over and over. I'm not, what I'm trying to tell you guys is nothing wrong with comforting one another, edifying one another, but we need to be in the word of God doing it, you know? And we need to be, be sure we believe and trust in our Lord, Jesus Christ, counting on him, seeking him. Fearing him. We need to fear God. That's the beginning of wisdom. And then he pours his spirit out in us. I've shared dreams and visions with you guys. Um, told you pretty much everything that's getting ready to happen. You know, the Lord showed me this, all right? But there's nothing more important than staying in the word of God. <clears throat> all right, after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, okay, that they should believe the lie that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you. Okay, brothers, beloved of the Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. whereby he called you by our gospel to obtain the glory of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast, hold the traditions which you have been taught, 
whether by word or epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which has loved us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Okay, you guys, nowhere in this Bible does it tell us to keep, you know, trying to outsmart God, thinking that we're going to tell you the day and hour. It does tell us to strengthen, you know, redeem the time, strengthen what remains. And there's only one thing I can think of that does it, and that's the Word of God. And remember, Jesus said, nobody can, told Pilate. And Pilate said, don't you know I have the power to do this? Jesus said, no, you don't. You only can do what my Father allows in heaven. You know, in other words, God's in control of everything. And all these people are being led like sheep to the slaughter. The devil's got him because he, he said he would hand you over to, to be taken by it. But anyhow, you guys, listen. Stay strong in our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, redeem the time, strengthen what remains, be careful. You know, I mean, we really got to be into the scriptures, reading scriptures. There's so much uh, deception out there. Um, they're going to come in all kinds of ways. You know, the only thing I can tell you is like it says in the Bible, you're known by their fruit. If they're not preaching, teaching from the word, of God, okay, be careful, there's a lot of deception out there, okay, God bless you guys, I love each and every one of you, in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ.